Bugatti has revealed its $4.1 million Tourbillon hypercar, a V16 hybrid that replaces the Chiron and is limited to 250 units. 986 horsepower combustion engine is paired with two E motors on the front axle and one on the rear for a total of 1,775 horsepower in a 37 mile electric range. Tourbillon hits 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in 2.0 seconds. But reels in the Remit's Navara EV at higher speeds, reaching 248 miles per hour in less than 25 seconds. Bugatti has junked the 8.0-liter W16 that in various forms has powered every model since the Veyron rebooted the storied brand in 2004. In its place comes an 8.3-liter naturally aspirated Cosworth-designed V16 that spins to 9,000 revolutions per minute. The V16 alone makes a mighty 986 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower. Virtually matching the output of the original Veyron's W16, 987 horsepower, 1001 PS, but is it without the help of four turbos? What was enough 20 years ago is little league today, though. So the Tourbillon's hybrid system tops that up to the tune of 789 horsepower, 800 PS. The new V16 makes a noise like a nitrous-injected chainsaw as it chews through revs on its way to generating a total of 1,775 horsepower, 1,800 PS, and an unspecified, but presumably enormous amount of torque. That's not a huge leap over the 1,479 horsepower, 1,500 PS, generated by the regular Chiron or 1,578 horsepower, 1,600 PS, of the Chiron Supersport. But the performance figures show that Bugatti has definitely moved the game on. According to Bugatti's official data the Tourbillon is 0.4 seconds faster to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, than the original Chiron. Getting there in 2 seconds dead. But at that point it's only just getting into its stride. By 186 miles per hour, 300 kilometers per hour, which it reaches in, less than, 10 seconds. The Tourbillon hitting 248 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour, in, less than, 25 seconds. The Chiron needed 32.6 seconds to do the same, and even Remitz's record-breaking Navara asks 28.6 seconds. The default top speed is 236 miles per hour, 380 kilometers per hour, the same the Chiron achieved, but while inserting the second speed key into the older car up the limiter to 261 miles per hour, 420 kilometers per hour. Doing the same in the Tourbillon will let the speed run on to 277 miles per hour, 445 kilometers per hour. Those huge speeds are displayed on a stunning gauge cluster that looks like something dreamed up by a watch fanatic with a passion for early 1990s superbikes. And helps explain the name of Bugatti's new car. The Tourbillon is a device invented in 1801 that's still added to seriously high end timepieces including the $170,000 plus optional clock in the Bentley Bentayga, to increase accuracy. The five-dial gauge cluster, whose combined speedo tacho focal point sits alongside a power dial showing both ice and electric outputs, is an almost entirely analog affair. The sole concession to our digital age is a small speed display at the base of the binnacle. Hit reverse in the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission and in 2 seconds a portrait screen emerges from the top of the dash to show what's happening behind you. Or you can summon it independently and, in 5 seconds, you have a conventional landscape display with full Apple CarPlay access. The 25 kWh battery is built into the carbon monocoque. And more diet tricks including making the diffuser part of the crash structure and swapping the steel double wishbones for forged aluminium result in the tourbillon weighing the same 4,400 pounds, 1,995 kilogram, as the Chiron despite its added hybrid tech. Bugatti built 500 Chirons, the final car rolling off the Molsheim line in May, nine years after the car was first revealed in 2015. But the tourbillon will be twice as rare. Production is limited to 250 units, with testing already underway and the first customers scheduled to get their cars in 2026.